Okay, guys, it is day two of my own full size lathe. Well, to Brian Block, this might be a mini lathe. But uh, this headstock, I think, is bigger than my mini lathe. I'm sure it is. This is crazy. Um, nothing happened today here. I uh, oiled some oilers, ball oilers again. Any place I could find a spot for oil, I uh, just kind of hitting them. Um, I'll eventually get a putty knife and start getting all this chip stuff out of here and uh, giving this a little more attention. We got electrified here on the lamp anyway. The plug coming off this lamp has never heard of uh, like that one, one of the one of the spades are wider than the other one, a dedicated neutral or yeah, the lamp has never heard of such a thing. Um, yeah, I went to uh, Wednesday. Wednesday there was an auction. It was a Tuesday, and I slept through it. I woke up and it already started and I started watching it and then I fell asleep and then I woke up again and it was still going on and uh, I was able to bid on a couple things. They had um, a lot of uh, two box fans. Now I'm talking about the fans that you'll buy at Kmart, little, you know, little metal box fans. I don't know. Um, so no one would bid on them. So they included two other lots of fans with it. And the other ones were Lake, uh, what is it, Lake something? Lakewood. Is that right? Yeah. The other ones were Lakewood, you know, such a popular brand, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But they're floor fans, and I got four of those. And, you know, they are they all work, but some of them don't have switches. And, you know, I need $11 for four fans. I, I actually, he didn't have correct change when I went to pay at the auction site, so I, I let him keep the change if he would throw the other two fans away for me. Uh, let me move this before we take the camera over there. Uh, so, um, this is what I bought at the auction, okay? Number one, we got four of these Lakewood fans. To give you an idea how big it is, you know, it's that big. And it goes around the ground. That's everything it's supposed to do. Okay, then I got some, I don't know what taper this is. It's not a five. So I imagine it's an MT4. But um, I have no use for these at all. Anybody wants these, leave me a note in the comments or better yet, email me and my email address is always in the description of these videos. Okay. Next, I got a set of boring bars, and these are made in China, and um, three-quarter inch shanks, they've been in there for a while, so yeah, braised carbide, I'm sure they're going to be fine, here's a Here's a loose one. I think that's a one inch. One inch shank. And then there's a little set here from India. A couple of them from India. This has some kind of paper. Shrink wrap. Protecting it. And then there is a bunch of these drills that I have absolutely no use for. I, actually, I have use for. I have, I have extra, I have doubles of these. So, some of these are brand new. Some of them are uh, 
through coolant. Um, the only ones that I, I might keep this one is that that's an MT, but look at that. They gouged the hell out of that. I would be afraid to put that in my tailstock. Now, what I did get out of that, all those, all that stuff, the boring bars are good. They're for, they're for me. And of the next, uh oh. Okay, these two over here are absolutely brand new. There's 31, 30 seconds, and I think this is 25, 25, 30 seconds. And let me say, those are absolutely never installed. And then there's two more here. It's an MT3, 63, 64 in 15 sixteenths. Um, so that's a good thing. I got four good drill bits for my quill. I have a nice variety of boring bars. Look at this one, the profile, I'm sorry. I just noticed it had a little different profile. Why did they do that? Oh, somebody's ground on it to make it. Somebody has ground on it to make it work for them. That's all that happened there. Okay, uh, I got the drill bits, the boring bars, the fans, and I got. When I was a kid, my dad had, uh, you know, would bring home tools from the shop, and they had that plasticky rubber coating on them, and uh, so. I have a dip tank, and uh, the little light's a little bad out here. It's not all melted all the way yet. I'm not sure, you know, how long it takes to. Is that a crazy drill bit or what? See, it's got two flutes for the first half inch, and then it just has these freaking razor sharp chisels. Chisel like, I guess. Yeah, the crazy, huh? So, yeah, I got this dip tank, and this thing actually. actually goes up to at least 450 degrees. Um, 1200 watts. called is it turtle coat it doesn't really say it just says coat manufacturing incorporated warren michigan 907295 warning okay i need to get busy out here everybody say you make a table out of this thing and i think that's a damn good idea this thing would hold a vice i'm gonna bolt it to the wall so it is not going to shake while I'm filing, hacksawing in the vise. And then I got, so I got a seven foot and an eight foot table. Well, I don't have a table yet. Um, here's the belts on here. They look good. There's five belts. Yeah, you're not seeing any of that. All this needs cleaned out. There's some suspicious. Oh, you know what? This might be the little clip that holds that gear on. Or is that just a washer that got cut? It might be the washer that got cut to hold that gear on. So here's a washer with blue paint. Here's a cap head screw. And this is definitely from the machine. I got another longer cap head screw, blue paint on it. 
we got this pen with blue paint on it so whenever something doesn't work uh, go through my collection of things I found in the chip pan there's a washer Let's see what else we got here oh there's a there's a probably something important there's a uh, they call it dog nose dog nose set screw with a straight screwdriver slot it is probably uh, what is that 10 30 seconds maybe yeah so that kind of stuff worries me a little bit thinking you know well, I guess if something's vibrating excessively I can uh, track it down and see if it's not missing um good god man you got that in there by yourself jeez that's what i thought my cousin was dumb telling that he's like what the hell huh okay i'm still just about as excited as a puppy with two penises and uh this baby just slides around as easy as can be gotta take this apart gotta figure out how to connect my doodad to this thing um I got my back plate and I have some transfer screws. Uh, they're the ones, you know, that have the little special wrench inside. You know, the tools are in the handle and you screw them into just, you know, so, oh, here they are. These things. Only they normally come in, you know, each little size has its own little. I gifted all those set, full sets to other people. Um, yeah, here it is, man. We're not too far from electricity. Uh, but uh, Thursday is when we did all this, put this in here. And uh, it was also the first opportunity I had to pick up my winnings at the local auction. You would be sick to see these. Bridgeport milling machines with DROs, just clean as can be, $1,300 whole row of them. Let me bring you some pictures. And I felt I couldn't I couldn't have bought it at that time because that's thirteen hundred dollars add seven hundred dollars of that for moving. Maybe not that much but that'd be safe. Auction fees. Um get down here. Uh yeah these um well you've seen bridge sports before. Okay. Um, actually looks better that way. Mm, let's try turning this light out. Oh, come on now. Let's see, we turn it this way maybe. Okay, I guess that's going to wrap this up uh, for tonight as I squeeze back here to address you one final time for the, for the day. I think it's Friday, I think. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I hate it when you got something a, a micrometer with the finest markings and thousands of an inch and somebody swaps blue paint on it what's wrong with people man